picture this. It's a hot, humid summer's day. I know it's hard, but we are getting closer. Anyway, you head down to the lake to cool off. But when you get there, you see this. Beach closed, no swimming. Not a great scenario, is it? Now, why we see these not so fun signs and advisories for water quality comes down to phosphorus. Phosphorus is a nutrient and essential for all living things. But when algae is no longer limited by the amount of phosphorus in the water, it has the potential to produce what we like to call harmful algal blooms. Now these blooms can deplete the oxygen in the water, killing fish, and also have the ability to produce toxins. So these blooms aren't just bad for your day at the lake, but also have severe economic impact. Now, phosphorus can come from multiple sources. However, one that is very difficult to control because there's no single point to cut it off is agriculture. Agriculture uses phosphorus in their fertilizer in order to produce crops with good yield, but it can be lost from the system from the surface due to soil erosion or the subsurface through tile drains. And that's where my research focuses. Tile drains, as you can see pictured on the top right of my slide, are drains approximately one meter in depth below the field and are a common management practice to lower the water table and extend the growing season. Phosphorus is able to make its way down to these tile drains through macropores, and these are channels built in the soil either through root growth, worm channels, or desiccation cracks from soil drying. We also see the greatest amount of water running through the tile drains during the winter and spring months due to snow melt and heavy rain events. But the majority of agricultural studies done are only done during the growing season. Therefore, knowing these transport processes and the high risk time period of the non-growing season, I wanted to look at what farmers could potentially do in order to reduce the impact of what we see down at the lake. My thesis focuses on fall applied dairy manure and what happens if we work the land a little differently in order to impact these macropores and ultimately reduce the total amount of phosphorus found in the tiles. To do this, I had three plots, each connected to a single tile line, as you can see from the simplified figure at the bottom of my slide. The first plot represented the conventional way of working the soil, whereas the second plot represented conservation tillage, where the soil was worked only once every three years, and the third plot represented incorporation, where the manure was worked into the soil following application. The results of this study will determine which management practice is best at reducing the total amount of phosphorus in the tiles. And the great thing about this research is that it shows how something is simple, as working the land a little differently can greatly impact what we see down at the lake. With continued research like this, you won't have to worry about getting to the lake and seeing that no swimming sign again. Thank you.